morning everyone good morning how are you everyone okay good good so shall we begin the session everyone yeah first of all welcome to the makri virtual yesterday there was some confusion we can say there was a disturbance in the class that's why the class was not held that class will be postponed to the today's topic or that is a uh, yesterday's topic was reschedule to today's topic so let's schedule or let's let's start with that yesterday's topic that becomes a today's topic that is part number four data collection instruments what are the various data collection instrument that is carried out that is carried away with the instrument that is carried away with the data collection methods so part number four that is the data collection instrument first is the introduction then that, that includes the project coordinators and the evaluators have an array of data collection instruments so whosoever is the project coordinator and the evaluator that have an array of data collection instruments that is available to them and after selecting the most appropriate instrument that requires the thought and the careful consideration there's a selection process that is also shaped by a number of decisions that already made so that is already made with the decision that is already made with the decisions of the taken out and the type of evaluation that is considered that that needs assessment process or outcome that determines to some extent the most appropriate data collection instrument whatever the data collection instrument that is used over here likewise the level of the evaluation being conducted that is the CASA that changes practices SEE conditions and the audience involves whatever the audience that is involved over here that include the children versus adults Casual visitors for versus organized groups, amount of the resources available that will all help determine which data collection instruments are used or which data collection instruments are used over here. And each data collection strategy comes with the strength and the weaknesses. So whatever the strength, whatever the weaknesses of the data collection instrument that is used to with the level of the evaluation that has been conducted, that may include the CASA, that may include the practices, that may include the SEE conditions. Well, it depends on the project coordinator. It depends on the evaluator that have an array of the data collection instrument that is available to them. And although whenever we are selecting the most appropriate instrument that also required the thought and the careful consideration so there with the selection process that is also shaped by the number of decisions whatever the number of decisions that has taken out so a number of decisions that is taken out with the evaluation that has already been shaped and the type of evaluation that has been considered that also needs assessment process or outcome that will determine to some extent the most appropriate data collection instrument and likewise the level of the evaluation being conducted whatever the level of the evaluation being conducted that may include a CASA that may include some verification details that is used with the SWE instruments so uh, we are finished with the introduction that is what are the various data collection instruments that is we are taken out or what are the advantages of the data collection instruments so the project coordinator Evaluators have an array of data collection instrument that is available to them and although selecting the most appropriate instrument that also requires a thought and careful consideration that is a selection process that is shared by the number of decisions that have already been made and the type of evaluation that has been considered that needs that the need assessment process or outcome will determine to some extent the most appropriate data collection instruments likewise the level of the evaluation being conducted what are the various levels of the evaluation that may be a CASA changes that may be a SEE condition that what are the various audience involved and the amount of resources available that will also help determine which which data collection instrument should be used and uh, every data collection instrument have some strat uh, have some advantages that is the strength and the weaknesses now let's see what are the various uh, data collection instrument that we are using and what are the various benefit that is what are the various advantages and the disadvantages of these data collection instruments so it is often the case that an evaluation who would want to address the degree to which the participant increase their level of understanding, develop a particular set of the skills, or further consider their attitude on a topic. Some data collection instruments are particularly adept at assessing knowledge gains. So what are the various knowledge gains that is used with the assessment, that is used with the knowledge behavior. 
So some data collection instruments are particularly adept at assessing the knowledge gain and others are appropriate for documenting the skills or the attitude development. What are the various skills or the attitude development that is carried out? And this chart provides some ideas of the appropriateness of using specific kind of data collection instrument to assess the knowledge, skills, attitude and the behavior. What are the various skills? What are the various knowledge, attitude and the behavior? Now, these are the four, four, four um, column that is used with the data collection instruments. So this is the knowledge, then skill, attitude, behavior. So first is the interview. Knowledge, yeah. Then attitude, yeah. Then behavior, yes. Focus group, have a knowledge, yes, it is a knowledge. So this indicates the technique may be, but not always appropriate. So whenever we put the X in the bracket that shows that this technique is good but not always fruitful in all the cases. But interview is useful in the knowledge part, in the attitude part. But uh, interview is not useful in the behavior part. And in the same way when we talk about the focus group, interview or the when we talk about the future group, then uh, X that is a bracket X that is used in the knowledge, not fruitful for the knowledge but it is fruitful for the attitude. Then questionnaires and the surveys, it is fruitful for the knowledge, skills, attitude, uh, but not useful for the behavior. In the same way, observation, literature, view, that is used for the comparison from the past to the initial conditions. Then test, con concept maps, uh, that is a, a document for the product or document or the product review, then case study. So these are the various data collection instrument that is used, that includes the knowledge, that includes the skills, that includes the attitude, and that includes the behavior. So these are the four parts, these are the four symbols, um, or these are the four, we can say, the criteria on which, on the basis of which the data collection instruments are made, that is the knowledge, skills, attitude, and the behavior. So first one, first one is the interview, then focus group, questionnaire and the surveys, then observations, literature review, test, concept maps, document or the product review, and then at last there is a case study. So next is the validity and the reliability of the evaluation instrument. So what are the validity or what is the validity and the reliability of the evaluation instrument? What is the main category of using the validity? So before you begin to collect the data for your project evaluation, make sure that the instruments are collected out, instruments are taken out, or tools you plan to use have been validated. That means whatever the tools, whatever the collection instrument that have been validated, and any time you develop the instrument to collect data, where it is for the need assessment, it is not used for the need assessment, process or outcome evaluation, you should take the steps to ensure what, is, what are the various steps that is used to ensure that the instruments are valid and reliable and two factor that uses or that should be taken into consideration uh, when evaluating or when validating your evaluation instruments are the validity and the reliability. So the two factor that is taken into consideration, what are the various evaluation techniques, what are the various uh, validity and the reliability that is taken out. And the validity of an instrument that is the extent to which the, it measures what it support or what it purports to measure. So test the validity of your inst evaluation instrument by asking a panel of experts if your questions are adequately sample the content you wish to convey or the reliability of an instrument is the extent to which it, it, it yields the consistent responses each time it is administered. So what is the validity and the reliability of the evaluation instrument? So that is what is the reliability why we rely on the evaluation instruments or what are the various instruments that is used for the evaluation. So before you begin to collect the data for your project evaluation. So before you begin the data, before you do for the project evaluation, make sure that the instruments or the tool you plan to use that have been validated. So make sure that you plan whatever the tools, whatever the instrument that you use are have been validated and any time you develop the instrument. So anytime we develop the instrument that has been taken out to collect the data that is need or that it is used for the need assessment, a process or an outcome evaluation, you should take the steps to ensure that the instruments are valid and the reliable. So whenever we are taking the validity, so whenever it is uh, approaching the outcome, whenever it is using the outcome, so you must ensure that the instruments are valid and reliable. And two factors that should be taken into consideration when validating your evaluation instruments are the validity and the reliability. So there are two factors on which, on the basis of which we can evaluate whether the instruments are valid or not. 
so the validity of an instrument is the extent to which it measures what its purport measure. that means whether the instrument is valid or for the for for the, for the instrument or not then test the validity by asking a panel of the expert so take out the panel of the expert if your questions are adequately simple the content you wish to convey and the reliability of an instrument is the extent to which it is consistent responses each time it is administered so each time it is responsive it uses the responses to measure the validity and the reliability of your evaluation criteria that is what is said what you use and what is the evaluation criteria that is being field or pilot testing that means trying out your instrument under under conditions similar to those you expect to have for the evaluation so taken out the conditions for the evaluation therefore conduct the uh, field test on a perspective or respect a represented <coughs> sample of people who are likely to participate in the content who are likely to gain in the content of the data and field test answers such questions as is the questionnaire provides the relevant information so whether the whether the questionnaire provides the information that is needed to answer the evaluation techniques are multiple interviewer collecting the information in the same way so whether the interviewer collect in the same way how consistent is the information obtained with the questionnaire so that means how relevant is the questionnaire obtained in the um, questionnaire then how accurate is the data how accurate in the mean in the sense how accurate is the information that is used with the data obtained with the observation rubric and while these are probably the simplest way to validate your instrument there are a number of methods there are a number of informative techniques or there are number of the method that have been tested out for the reliability and the validity however These require the use of the statistical methods. In some cases, it is best to work with someone with expertise. So there are the ways to use with expertise. That means uh, take out the team of the expertise to use in the statistical information, statistical analysis for the education project, for the analysis for the analysis of the data for the education project when determining the validity and the reliability what is the validity what is the reliability of your esteemed organization with your instrument and obviously when we take out the method that must be ensured that the data collection data gathering instruments are both valid and reliable and the approach you choose will depends on the expertise of the evaluation team data collection methods longevity of the projects and practically in terms of the time and resources expended that is, what are the various times, what are the various response that is used in terms of the time and the resources expended. That means that must be ensured that the data gathering instruments are valid and reliable and the approach you choose will depend on the expertise of the evaluation team, whatever the approach that is used, what are the various data collection methods, longevity of the project and practically in terms of the time and the resources needed. So we are using or we are validating instruments for other various instruments that is the possible ways of validating the instrument and there are a number of the ways other more more in, in informative ways informative procedures technique that you can use to establish the reliability and the validity however these these requires the use of the statistical methods in many of the cases it is best to work with someone with expertise in statistical analysis for education projects when determining the validity it is better to use the validity in <coughs> expertise method in a statistical analysis for the education project when determining the validity and the reliability of your instrument obviously uh, there must be a more more care that must be able to ensure that your data gathering instruments are both valid and the reliable and the approach you use that will depends on the data analysis that will depends on the data procedure that is used that will depends on the expertise of the evaluation team data collection instruments longevity of the projects and practically in terms of the time and the resources expended that is what is the, what is the time needed what is the resource that is needed that is used in terms of the time and the resources the next one is a mixed method in evaluation refers to the practice of using some combination of the methods both quantitative and the qualitative get data gathering and when we talk about the quantitative method that allows to count events or the number of participants that determine the cost participant perform the statistical analysis that means that includes the mean median mode standard deviation and the complete other calculations also that is used in the statistical analysis excluding the mean median mode that means more than that of the mean median mode and the standard deviation
and the quantity methods that also allows to generalize the findings be beyond uh, the actual respondent to its the relevant population what is the relevant population that is used with the findings of the actual respondents that is the quantitative methods in the same way qualitative methods so one is the quantitative that is a combination of the uh, mixed method that is the combination of the quantity and the quantity so qualitative method also allows to record the explanations preparations perception descriptions of the experiences often in the participants own words what are the various own words that is used in this one and the qualitative method allows us to create narrative that provides an in-depth view what is a view and how it is more complicated or how it is using the more more complete understanding of the context of the evaluation and typically when we talk about a small number of the individual that participate in a group that participate in a qualitative evaluation and consequently the result of this small number of the participant cannot be generalized to the populations so that cannot be generalized to the population that cannot be used as a population and each instrument has its own strength and the weaknesses using quantitative methods or the qualitative methods in isolation limit that can be learned from the evaluation what is the evaluation criteria how it is built where it is built what can be reported or what can be recommended with any confidence as a result of the evaluations so as a result of the evaluation what is the criteria that is evaluated for this one and when used with the combination that is both the qualitative and the quantitative data are used the individual strength whatever the individual strength of the quantitative and the quality method that can be maximized and the weaknesses are minimized so that means the strengths are maximized and the weaknesses are minimized and more importantly synergy that can be generated when using mixed method that results from more more than one method of data collection that can be triangulated that can also provide the better opportunity that can also use with a better opportunity of the data that can also used with a poor understanding good understanding of the participant that may also provide a great deal of the information So that is concerning why we are using the services what are the various services that is desired that is used with the characteristics that is used to make a particular type of service that is not most desired service now next is types of the data collection instrument what are the various types of data collection instrument that is used so following table summarizes the purpose advantages and challenging of using different data collection instrument so remember that this, since data collection instruments are developed for a specific purpose in the project they rarely represent a pure form that the pure form is represented for example when you talk about the survey or the interview that may include the test items there is a case study that often incor often incorporates what are the various decision what are the various observation document review and the in depth interviews that is used with the case study that is used with the document review in depth interview that also includes with the fact sheet of the nine data collection instrument that is used over here so these are the benefits of varied data collection instrument that may be includes the uh, interview that may include the data gathering instruments 